Bora ver. Opina pra mim aqui pra você ao redor, você acha melhor Kyle Moon? Putz, os dois são duas legends muito boas, mano. Mas eu acho que a Moon é mais, mais fácil de jogar, talvez. Não sei. Oi, Isa. Tudo bom? Ah, Marcio, eu não sei. As duas são bem diferentes. O que que tu gosta mais de jogar? Tipo, eu tô, tô indo, Isa. Não é, obrigado por não tá. Ué, tá sem som? Vocês não avisaram? Como foi o dia? Ah, não fiz muita coisa hoje. Isso me chega mudo pro Orion, o quê? Por quê? Luna went to the swimming pool and he is testing the waters not by dipping a toe in. Instead, he is diving in head first with each of those gauntlet side signatures. And Godly is the shark in the waters right now, about to take the stocks. Down light, side air, last stocks here in game number one. We are even between these two players. Zero, zero between these two players. A victory here is going to be a huge momentum shift in favor of the victor. Luna. Now coming out with the gauntlet, just starts using side light, going to the left side, hoping to take Godly off the top. Back to back recoveries from Godly. Trading blow for blow, down to the final moments here. Godly taking his time here, just a little neutral air. Luna tries to respond. Godly finds another hit here. Those paid for cuts are adding up. Sei, sei. Sei o que? O que que tu sabe, hein? Godly. Que eu nem sei porque está falando você já. Tô perdido. After Godly's neutral light, I'd like to see Godly switch something up. But Luna still missing punishes. Godly is getting away with it, not getting hit in response from Luna. Oh, two Qatar, aí, mano. Agora que me toquei. KO combos. Lots of options here, but Luna chasing high, and he's gonna get game number one. Did it without a weapon. The unarmed recovery off the top. That's gotta be feeling good. That recovery after recovery. Godly is out of Mano, descobri, descobri o que, Ray? Eu ensinei, né? Filho, respeito pro discípulo. Vou <risos> cagar. Tô forte que o Link ficou com sono. O que, que você descobriu? Eu não entendi. Sil, oi Derek, tudo bom? Derek, 1405, 1405, tudo bom? Que nice. <risos> Trying to do to Luna what Luna just did to him at the end of last game. He's trying to get that quick KO at the top of the map, but Luna starting to swing back with the gauntlets in hand. Godly still sticking with the sword. He's already adding up this damage, and that's an easy punish, but he goes for the big plays with the gravity cancel. He could have gone for a downlight recovery. That was a jumpable option that Godly went for after Luna burned his dodge using the gravity cancel. Woo! 
Nice D light into the recovery. That's gonna give him the weapon. He immediately throws the gauntlets away to nice. pick up the guitars to keep godly weapons start and secures the KO. And light into NSIG, something that's been so effective for only Luna's guitars. The godly has the Mr. Classic Mr. Light into the recovery, even second stops. We're still seeing Godly go for that in light into the neutral air. That previous time Ooh. he went for it, it did actually make a connection. Luna wasn't able to dodge through it in time. Godly with a nice lead here, especially after that recovery, getting Luna deep into the orange. Off stage opportunity. Luna with the nair, but it doesn't send Godly off into the air. But Godly sends Luna flying with the slap down side air. And now a huge advantage for Godly. He also has the weapon advantage, especially as the next one spawns in. You see him just throwing out moves after moves. Luna finds his way in and is able to get to the guitars. Oh, but Godly responding. Ooh. Side light after side light. Doesn't get the side air. The momentum is in. Oh, Luna is in. Bastante favorite. Favorite. He's finding a lot of damage on this final stock of Luna. Already has him in the yellow. Easy punish. Luna again going for that quick gravity cancel doesn't hit the side sig and Godly again hits the punish again hits the punish Luna is throwing those side sigs out I don't think he's hit maybe more than one like those sigs can KO early we I mean we've literally seen that at the world championship where it hits and then both players are like haha that actually KO'd I didn't think that would happen but Luna is really using them way too much, and I think he's using them too early even for them to actually be a difference maker, for them to actually lead to the KO. And it's leading to so much punishment. Nice string, but Godly also has guitars. He's able to throw out the Nair out of hit stun. Have no idea what that was. Trading blow for blow though. Godly sweat beating, gets back up onto the stage. He's over to the sword. He knows he has the KO tools here, but Luna opens him up, hits the end sig. Luna fighting his way back in this one. All but even up the damage here to side air. The Brawl Haven pick coming through for Godly there. I think many other maps, he would not immediately go into the blast zone. That would set up Godly for the edge guard situation, but that wouldn't have led to the immediate blast zone knockout. And that's one of the big reasons why Godly wants to go back there for game number three. He knows that he was able to clutch that one out thanks to the close KO boxes on small Brawl Haven. Luna sticking with the pick. Godly sticking with his own. Going back to Brawl Haven here. First weapon yet again goes the way of Godly, but Luna's able to find one quickly. Gets a nice dodge to go through the ground there. pound. The edge guard. Fight back from Godly though. The Sayer and punishes that ground pound on the stage. Swinging. Luna hits a nair. A trade back again from Godly. Neither one of them is getting that easy damage that they want. Godly actually waited there. It seemed like he just wanted to play around that weapon spawn like it's a trap, like he wanted to stay with Sword. But no. Then the delayed pickup of the Katars. He might swap back to Sword, but maybe not. Weapon spawn coming in there. It is. That's going to keep that weapon spawn away from Luna. And Godly has those KO tools. He can go for the side air. He can go for the unarmed gravity cancel side light. And he can go for nothing more as Luna hits the nair to keep his stock alive. Luna happened to win the race to get the first hitboxes out. We even heard the audio play from the Qatar neutral air, but it didn't come out quickly enough compared to Luna's unarmed. That just saved his life. Keeping this stock alive, giving him opportunities to keep this one even. Godly, not in position. The unarmed neutral light, not quite enough. It's still small brawl haven. He still needs a little more, but the side sig misses. Godly wasn't able to find the punish there because he already threw out the neutral light by the time Luna's signature came out. GC side say to get back on the main platform. Actually finds a connection, but ultimately Godly finds the stock. Tudo por dele. Essa ele vai de Mordix. Over actually in this game. A little bit of a longer game given that we're on small Será? ball haven. But that's not the most crazy thing when you think about both players playing string heavy weapons. They're both playing so incredibly well, but they also 
both don't always have those KO tools. Godly has a little bit more with that sword, but Ooh. Luna has those six. He hits the down six to keep the stock count even, and he's going to wait a little bit. He wants to delay this weapon spawn as long as he can. Now, that six he just threw out there was an incredibly safe option. Godly was all the way over on the wall. Even if he could actually get close enough to Luna, because Godly was without a weapon, he didn't oh, have the range. Godly turning this around immediately. Oh my goodness, what an early KO. Two stocks to one. Godly is doing it against Luna. He could go up big. Game three is such mm -hmm. an important game as Luna doesn't hit the follow-up, that ground pound that he wanted to punish a dodge of Godly. Side stick charged up. It's going to be a recovery to punish. That was an easy punish for Godly, of course. Luna charging that one up gave Godly so much time to figure out exactly what he wanted to do. Godly has Luna in the white. Luna has Godly in the orange. There's a weapon spawn on the field. Godly has been a lot more cognizant of all of those weapon spawns. It seems like even though the damage might be on the card, the oh my gosh, dude. That's what happens when you go for a gravity cancel. Three seconds of punishability and Godly utilized all mm. three of them. Luna with the neutral six, still not a lot enough. The recovery, still not enough for Luna to take this to final stocks. The neutral light will finally do it, but Luna has got to play face with the first stock. One hit, he's knocked out. De boa. Weapons spawn coming in the immediate swap. Over, <laughs> oh my goodness, Godly unarmed. He's like sec almost securing these KOs so often with the unarmed kit. Did it in the beginning of this game, did it just now. The light recovery giving Godly the lead now into game four. The EU is holding on. They have the potential to go into the grand finals. Godly versus Luna. So many people speculated about how this one could go. So many people wanted to know who would take it. The number one EU versus the number one NA. And now, again, the pressure is on. The last time he was in this spot, he was able to reverse it with the swap to the Tai Lung. Will he do it again? I'm really not sure. We heard from the analysts the earlier that they name. were not sure that Luna had it in him if he went down and lost two games playing on the diamond head. Cadê o Luna? Luna cadê o Luna lung, pra bater nesse gato? O que é esse view aí? We'll see if he's made the change. We'll see what map we're going to. We'll see what answer Luna has to the godly question. He's sticking with the diamond head for game number four. Ooh. He believes it's the thing to take down the last European and earn him his fight against Impala in the grand finals. Is he gonna leave Small Brawl Haven on the board? The map he's lost twice to, or twice on to God. No, he's not. You just saw it get taken off. He spent like 15 seconds on that fourth map ban. The first three came through pretty quickly, but that final ban, that took a long time. That took a lot of thought. Three, and we're two, going one. to the Demon Island. No soft platform here. Ooh, Game down de four. Luna, hoping that the bigger box will help him out as he hits the sidelight recovery. Hits an air. He's keeping the damage going on to Godly. Can he get the zero to K? Oh, the side sig misses and Godly taps him with the neutral air. Even though the side sig misses, Luna actually gets back to the main platform with it and continues this pressure. The high ceiling of Demon Island. I'll tell you what, if we were on Brawlhaven, that would have led to the KO. But I'm sure Luna is still happy with this pick so far. He has so much room to play around with left to right up and down that gives him some space that he can put between himself and godly his guitars have been looking so good but it was the gauntlets that got him this lead here in game number four he's sticking with the guitars now against godly sword and godly goes for the wake up down air luna with a chase dodge turnaround recovery keeping that pressure going on top of godly godly over here Slowing things down, now swapping over to the guitars. Luna disarming himself. Godly chasing a little bit into the air, but only throwing close moves when Luna was a little bit further away from him. They're just trading blow for blow back and forth, which here is a terrible thing for Godly. Yeah, I mean, he's a full stock behind both of them. Love doing that wake up down air after getting caught by the opponent's guitars. Future light, he goes for the wake up, but Luna's recovery is a little bit faster. Watch for the guitars. Luna tries to set it up, but he can't get the hit. Oh, the recovery catches him in the air, sends him Let's off the top. Damage has been done though. Luna maintains his lead. He just needs to get this stock. 
Godly. Not going to get it. This is the dare. Luna actually doesn't get punished for throwing out that signature. Godly now choosing again, yet again to go in big. He's looking for those huge, massive plays to bring himself back in this to get the early gimp, the early KO onto Luna. No, but he is getting the hits. He's getting the damage. Luna He's still doing it. The side air. Luna able to keep this stock lead. Quando Luna bebe água parece energético, seu louco. Por que energético? Ah, porque ah tá. Ele fica energizado, doidão. Immediate weapon starving coming out from Luna. He has another set of guitars under his belt. Now he has the gauntlets in hand. It almost seemed like he was going to go pick up those guitars yet again. He saw Godly was coming in, backed away from it. Gauntlets the guitars. Luna that with the nice lead. The oh. Turnaround hits the stair. The dare. Godly switch. And Luna's going to take game number four. We're going to game five. This one is going the distance. I wouldn't want it any other way. I don't think. The people at home would want it any other way. Now the competitors I don't want it some other way, but they're not going to get it. I keep saying that this entire event has been like a dream. This current set has been many people's dream for BCX. And of course, that dream, you want to see it come through. Going to game number five, the final hope here. Will Godly keep the EU dream alive or will Luna be the one to shut it down and make sure that NA continues its streak of 1v1 gold medals? Godly can't fight on the edge. Based off of the information we got last game, he cannot fight on the edge against Luna. Gente, always gonna favor either one that o... Luna has. He either goes even with the guitars, the guitars, or he's gonna be behind if it's sword the guitars, sword the gauntlet, even really guitars the gauntlet. Oh my gosh! It's the ground pound. That's actually good damage for Luna, but Godly responds with a nice guitar string of his own. Both of them dancing in their respective squares for a little bit here. They know how important this game five is. They know how important each of these stocks are. Sig does get punished by Godly. Weapon toss to open up Luna. Nice dodge from Luna. Swapping over to the Gauntlet. Just saw the Sig come out. Instantly gets punished. So far, the Sigs have not been working this game. Oh! Hide six from Luna. He's got horizontal. Mm, he fall the vertical. Godly going to take the stock lead. Coming down to Apocalypse. We do have a soft platform here. Nice little edge guard though to end that one up from Godly. And we're back to guitars, the guitars. Luna is able to fall down quickly enough to get away from the instant punishing tip that came out from Godly on the wish side scene. Really good hits from Luna, but he needs the KO in order to keep this one close. Already a little bit of damage added up onto this second stock of Luna. Still not enough to finish this stock of Godly. Okay, we're not seeing Godly go in on the edge like he was previously on Demon Island. We're not seeing those deep ground pounds coming out. He'll dip over the edge for just a little bit, but then he'll get back on the main stage. He knows that weapon succeeds in neutral, especially when you're going up against someone like Luna, where the edge guarding from Luna has been immaculate. He hits that recovery to keep this one going, waiting again to make sure that he can deny the weapons for as long as possible. There's the weapon spawn. Luna gonna try to cover, but Godly picks it up. Godly, he's just looking for somewhere to land. He's got the runway. He's got nice. the stage control. Both of them going for weapon tosses. Luna needs more hits. He's just getting these gentle taps onto Godly. Can't deny the weapon pickup, and Godly's got the sword. Again, Godly just being so careful before he makes a commitment. Even the cider he just threw out got interrupted. Luna with the insig does get punished for two. Going for a big read there, might have paid off. Dodges through the side air, doesn't hit the sideline. Godly is responding, hit for hit. Nair, Luna, not sure what weapon he wants. It's gonna be the gauntlets. Still had plenty of room to get over that weapon spawn. So he wasn't a bit of weapon disadvantage for too long. Didn't take any hits in the process. Has the gauntlet, oh! lifts the sig. That's gonna give Godly a little bit of a damage lead here. He has a much more consistent no. knockout option. There is the inconsistency coming through from Luna, actually, and it's his own fault. That tension is too much, but he hits the recovery. He's got the tiniest of leads here, but you can tell the pressure, the sweat, all of it is mounting because he missed a true combo that he's never missed before. 
Guitars v. Guitars until Luna disarms himself. Weapon toss went wide left. He's able to pick him up. Back again. A fresh spawn. No. Now putting the pressure onto Godly. Instant slap from Godly. You could not have asked for a better game five. Final stocks here. The top two players for NA and EU here in the elimination final. Luna with the gauntlets. Godly with the guitars. Man, this map can be so helpful to a player who's looking for a weapon spawn. We've seen Godly and Luna both use that soft platform to stall out the game and then pick up the weapon spawn as it comes in. Nice. High. Luna's gauntlets have the lead. Ooh. They didn't get the read. The neutral light dodges and gets caught by the recovery. Burn dodge there. Still gets above Godly. Side stick charged up with the pun and Soft platform caught in the way of Godly. Again, getting away from these signatures. Luna cannot panic use these signatures. Got to be careful here. This is the most important stock of his tournament life here at the World Championship. Godly with the Sair disarms Luna. Trouble is building for Luna, but he picks up the guitars. Not even just the most important tournament stock of his career today, but his career in entirety. The neutral sig gets punished. The neutral oh! from Godly. The recovery not enough. Not enough. Just barely too high of a ceiling. Godly on the edge. He knows he just needs that one hit, a down light, a recovery, and he's going to put this one away. The weapon toss from Luna, but nothing else. Down light, recovery. AU holds on. Godly wins it in game number five. Apocalypse almost got in the way of Godly finding a punish onto Luna earlier. That soft platform got in the way. E aí, chegou no final do Zio. Enquanto você tá aí na tela final, eu fico aqui, ó. Dançando, tá ligado? E aí, o que, que vocês acharam do vídeo? Curtiram? Espero que tenha curtido o vídeo. É isso aí, dá um likezinho também. Não esquece de seguir na Twitch. O canalzinho principal também, link na descrição. E aí? <música>